Okay, so our model has applied um, the dermis, um, which we prefer rather than Vaseline to her, her face. Beforehand, I've cut and prepared all my bandages. These two here, these two squares are for, um, for the eyes and these are for the nose. So it comes down the bridge of the nose and I have enough bandage over here to do the entire face. So anyway, we're going to put a slurry of this into your eyes and then I'll immediately put the, the plaster bandage into your eyes and then you can just relax. Normally it's a little bit, um, it's not quite as liquid. So we place the bandage directly onto the eye. And the, the main area to try and um, get the bandage into place is right in the corner of the eye because so often you can, um, you'll, you may have an air bubble in this, in the corner of your eye. And you see how we're working it up to a, um, a, a creamy consistency. Well, that, that's getting all of that fine detail. So we also put the, the gauze into the eye so the model can relax and just basically go into a meditative state. But of course, we have to keep that, get that creamy layer up so it get rid of all of these holes in the gauze. We have a, okay, we'll put a bit. Now the very first layer goes directly over top of that, the eyes, and again we cream it in. The surface. And make sure you, 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 can, you push out the air bubbles just in the corner of the eyes. Very important. I take my gauze and I hold it by two corners when I put it into the water so it doesn't escape on me. So when it comes out, it's nice and flat. And I'll take, I'll put it onto this area. So we can start um, right in beside the nose. So we take up the corner of the nose, which can get lost sometimes in the face casting process. And on this line. So I kind of divide the face into a geometry. Now it's most important to work around the eyes and the nose. <coughs> the nose first. I've taken this strip, I'm going to fold that in half and we're going to apply it to her nose, just here, directly across the mouth. So now you want to get your bandage just into the corner of the mouth, or sorry, the nose, and make sure you really um, draw it into the lips very easy to lose the definition in the lips if you don't push it into place properly. So I'll just really move that into the lips. I have two smaller pieces for the corner of the nose. I folded that in half and I'm placing that just there onto your nose so you get good definition right around your nose. Time. So I folded this in half again. Into this side of the nostril. Of course, be careful, you're not going to block your model's um, airway. 
And now I can move around the face. I'm trying to do the first layer. Um, get the first layer on all at once. Because as, as the plaster sets up, it, you kind of get a division line between a dry area of plaster and a wet area. So if we can get most of that first layer on before it dries out, that's very important. You get a much better overall. So if we work equal parts of the face, It's important to always ask your model to how they're feeling. You never know. Some some models might end up um, feeling claustrophobic. Odd people. So far, I haven't had any models that have freaked out and couldn't cope. So now our first layer is actually dry, or it's drying. Very important. When you go to put your second layer on, don't apply pressure on the first layer or you will push the plaster into her face. And of course you'll now have a lump in your mold. So just quietly ride over the surface without actually applying any pressure at all. Kind of do the same on opposite side. So you know that you've actually put two layers on or three layers on and you don't lose count of where you've been. We're going for three layers. Three layers is, um, creates quite a nice strong mold. And I basically just say, follow my same and push into the lips, get that definition. But I basically use the same, same laying pattern on every face. I've stayed away from the hairline, because otherwise you'll trap hair and then you will not be very popular with your model. Make sure you don't go over that, cover those nostrils up. If you get going too fast, you can actually do that without thinking. So this will be the last layer. Three layers is generally enough for any face mold. Okay, so now we can let this, this mold sit probably for about two minutes before um, we extract the model out of the mold. Just make sure there's always going to be a few drips that, that run down the neck. And just make sure they're comfortable. That's, that's the main thing. Okay, so about one or two minutes have passed. Just, you can tap, tap the side of the mold and, you know, if you don't see any movement um, or it feels hard enough, which this one does, we can, we can um, help the model extract itself from the mold. Now, I don't pull the mold off the model. The model actually um, extracts herself from the, the mold. So 
I, I put my hands in and act as an anchor for the model. And now I ask the model to, to um, move the muscles on her forehead and her chin and her lips and her cheeks, just moving herself quietly. And in her own time, she actually extracts herself. So just slowly in your own time, you just pull yourself out. They're just, I think the forehead will probably just curl that up. Yeah. And there you go. Um, just to wipe your eyes. Mm. Did that hurt? No. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. And you've got fantastic. Mm. Yeah. You've left <laughs> half your mascara in there, of course, you know. But that's a, a true sign of a reasonable move. Yeah. So there you go. It's pretty quick. So did it feel good? It did, actually. Yeah. Towards the end, it started to feel. Like it drying was, up and yeah, more like the face was sagging. Oh, really? Yeah. Your face was sagging. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Serious? Yeah. So I just feel like it was dripping off. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, and it wouldn't have. No. Would it? So it wouldn't it have strange. fallen off by itself. Yeah. Ah. It was a strange, strange sensation. Okay. But, no, apart from that, it felt really good. As you said, I got into a meditative state almost mm -hmm. through it. So it was nice. Great. So a successful face molding. It was. Fantastic. <laughs> you know,